paratransit, the region's provider of services of mobility to disabled and elderly residents, will offer on-demand transportation to the Delta Shores Regional Center for the Holidays. Here to fill us in is Chief Executive Officer Tiffany M. Fink. Welcome to the show, Tiffany. Thank you so much for having us. Well, first of all, we were talking off camera. You know, a lot of people don't realize exactly what the paratransit is, how it works. So. So give us the rundown. So paratransit was actually created in 1978 and we're something called the Consolidated Transportation Service Agency. So what that means is our job is to coordinate transportation services through the county, uh, whether those services we provide directly or through our partners, such as Asian Community Center, United Cerebral Palsy, Easter Sales. We, it's all about mobility for everyone in the region. When we talk about the services, what exactly do you offer and who's eligible to receive them? So paratransit provides a whole host of services. We provide, uh, in partnership with RT, service to complement fixed route and light rail, but we also provide expanded and enhanced services to residents to go at times into places not served by fixed route and light rail, including Sacramento International Airport. We also partner, as I said, with our social service partners, and they actually provide on that piece 60% of the county's transportation. And finally, we offer free mobility services to anyone, not only elderly and disabled, but anyone who wants to learn how to use the service. We provide everything from one-on-one -on -one training to field trips to get you out on the system, and we actually have started a new program for youth. That's exciting because transportation is so important when you need to get around. Now, one of the reasons we wanted to bring you on is because you guys have decided to expand some of that service for the holidays. So talk about that. So we obviously are the provider for the region, and with the recent service changes, there was service to Delta Shores was eliminated, and we really listened to our passengers. And so the board took the action that decided our gift to the community this season would be to restore service to Delta Shores. Oh, nice. So anyone who's eligible to use our services is now eligible to access Delta Shores from November 5th, or 8th through January 5th, the Sunday after New Year's, so they can go enjoy entertainment, shopping, and everything that the entire region has to offer. Yeah, so right now, right on through the holiday season, and it's pretty much all day starts at 5.30 in the morning, ends, ends at night. Um, is there a cost to passengers? So for el passengers who are eligible, it's $5, and that is for anyone within our entire service boundary, which is most of the urbanized Sacramento County. That's a one-way charge. And you guys have also gotten some national recognition as the national leader in delivery of or in delivery, yes, of mobility management. Talk about that. So mobility management, a lot of people these days talk about mobility, but paratransit's very proud of our history. Travel training, as we know in the United States, was really kind of born here in Sacramento based on practices paratransit created and partnered with the Easter Seals Project Action to take across the country. Um, we've been very uh, instrumental in helping other transit agencies bring programs to their areas, and we actually currently operate mobility not only in Sacramento, but in Washington and for Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority. They came to paratransit and want to know how we do things here in Sacramento. That's great, and you were also able to expand some of your services to the youth, as you mentioned, why is that so important? So this region is really committed to youth. And if you think about all the initiatives that have happened related to trying to get youth employment, what we learned is a job isn't a job if you can't get there. Mm -hmm. And so we did some polling and the number one thing we found was it was the cost of the fare and knowledge. The city, thankfully, with the K-12 free pass program helped provide the funding, but we thought we could solve the knowledge gap. And so we took what we had mastered as accessing uh, transportation for seniors and disabled and thought about it. A lot of people wouldn't necessarily think they correlate, but a lot of the challenges that community face are similar to youth, limited income, knowledge of the service, fear. And so we were able to retool what we do to create a new program. It's for youth age 16 to 24. It's completely free to the participant. And we not only teach them how to ride, but we teach them how to plan a safe second way home, even if they have a car, how to have safety knowledge about things like when you travel, leave your backpack in front of you, how mm -hmm. to calculate fare and make sure you're to work on time. Those are That's great information because sometimes it's a fear of like, how does it work? All right, so if someone's watching, they want to find out if they qualify or how they can get more information. Where should they go? The best place is our website, www.paratransit.org. We have all the information on all the services we provide. Uh, just to note the fare system is $5, but everything else we provide because of uh, funding sources like Measure A and local sales tax are free to our participants. So we encourage people to come find out what we can do to help them. All right, Tiffany, thanks for coming on and sharing with us about paratransit. Thank you so much. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.